It was a wet day for some, gloomy for all of us, and also chilly as temperatures kind of stayed in the low mid 50s all day because of the clouds and rainfall. We did see some locations get into the upper 50s on the North Shore, and that was because of the lack of rainfall. Most of our rain did stay in more the southern half of the viewing area. This is some rain north of the lake, but not nearly as much as the South Shore and not nearly as much as along the coastline. Finally starting to see a lot of this rain break up, not as intense or even as uh, extensive as it was, and that will continue continue to wind down through the later night and overnight period. We're showing you the computer model, which is kind of downplaying our rainfall, but it will be tapering off through the night and we will start to see more sunshine as we get into the day tomorrow. So a prettier day as far as rainfall totals go. Not much. A lot of the rain, thankfully, was light, moderate rain, only picked up three hundredths of an inch at Kenner. Ten, uh, a tenth of an inch of rain at Bell Chase. The highest amount was down at Burris, and even that was less than an inch. So most of the areas that did see the rainfall didn't see a whole lot. And our high today, only 58 degrees, and that was set just after midnight. Temperatures kind of dropped to around 50 degrees at 10 o'clock this morning, warm to only the low mid 50s, and we've kind of sat there over the last several hours. So right now we're finally starting to dry out here in the city. Different story down toward the coast, but that will come uh, shortly. Dew points have been in the 40s, so we actually have some drier air that has moved in. That should also help to kind of evaporate a lot of the rainfall that we have around the area with temperatures in the 50s right now. And as I said, we're not going to see them drop a great deal more during the overnight. The only thing that could help us is if we start to see some of the clearing of the skies, but I don't think that will really happen until more toward daybreak tomorrow. And tomorrow is looking to be a beautiful day as we will finally start to see more sunshine. The denser clouds beginning to push away from us and we will see improving weather and actually a very pleasant day tomorrow. Then we have scattered showers and storms on the way for Friday. Been trying to figure out the timing. Some of the models have it more throughout the day. The other models have it more late in the night as a cold front moves through. But then the weekend will be turning colder. And as I mentioned at the top of the newscast, a freeze for many locations on Sunday morning, certainly on the North Shore, parts of the Mississippi coast, and that extends out west of the city. So the river parishes, northern bayou parishes. This isn't cold enough for pipe type weather, but certainly with a lot of vegetation now blooming, this could kind of throw a wrench into that as we will be dropping below freezing for several hours in the city, maybe cold enough for some frost to begin the day. This is on Sunday. The upper atmosphere has really not been helping us out in terms of kind of clearing the skies. That will happen by Sunday or becoming on Saturday, especially as that deep upper trough moves on through. Again, we'll get a brief period of more sunshine during the day tomorrow, but we'll finally get all of this mess cleared out of here with that deep upper trough that moves through late Friday night and on into Saturday. So for tomorrow, very nice day. High temperatures, upper 60s, maybe some low 70s with more sunshine. Then as we head into the day Friday, warmer air starts to return and then those scattered showers and thunderstorms with the front. This model kind of downplaying our rain coverage in terms of how much we actually see with the front. That's why I kind of backed off on rain coverage with the frontal system on Friday night and into early on Saturday. Still looks like to be a fairly wet day at times on Friday, but then once that front sweeps on through, chilly weather moves in for the entirety of the weekend. With that front as well, we may see a low end risk of a few isolated strong or severe storms. Thankfully, we had a similar situation last night and did not see any severe weather here. What's kind of interesting is we got that big drop in temperature for the weekend. After the weekend, the six to 10 day temperature outlook is calling for us to likely be above normal. So this may be for a while and maybe for the rest of the season, the last big drop in temperature that we see through the night tonight. Fewer showers overnight and then drying out under mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures upper 40s, low 50s. Again, not falling a great deal more than we are right now. Nice day tomorrow. Milder, high around 69 degrees, some low 70s. And then we're a little warmer and those scattered showers, thunderstorms during the day on Friday. Again, low risk of some strong to severe. Then temperatures drop. High on Saturday will stay in the low 50s with strong winds making it feel more like the 40s. Remember that freeze on Sunday morning, also on Sunday morning we lose an hour of sleep. Turn those clocks ahead one hour milder as we get into next week. All right. Thank you, Chris.